This Canadian was in a courtroom in Ethiopia today, hoping to hear why he's been detained there for the past two years. Bashir Maktal is accused of being part of a group deemed a terrorist organization by Ethiopia. His lawyers say no one's ever presented any evidence of that. And as David McGuffin reports, the prosecution failed to do so today. Bashir, how are you? These are the first pictures anyone outside Ethiopia has seen of Bashir Maktal in over two years. Looking remarkably fit, the 40-year-old Canadian, detained in Ethiopia since 2007, finally got his day in court. Maktal faces serious charges. Armed raising against the Ethiopian government for trying to throw the Ethiopian government by violent, uh, non-peaceful and uh, by a forceful way. All carry a possible death sentence. Maktal is the grandson of the founder of the ONLF. It's an ethnic Somali liberation movement outlawed by Ethiopia, but not considered a terrorist organization by Canada or most Western countries. He has pleaded not guilty. He's saying that he was uh, not in involved in any of uh, those acts. Well, he doesn't deny that uh, he was a member of uh, the Central Committee of the ONLF, but he said um, he was uh, enlisted against his will. Maktal was caught at the Somali-Kenyan border during Ethiopia's invasion of Somalia. Despite his Canadian passport, he was transported to Ethiopia and held in solitary confinement for 18 months, with no access to Canadian officials until last summer. The prosecution's case against Bashir Maktal taking place in this courtroom just over here did not get off to a very auspicious start. Six of the main witnesses against Maktal did not show up in court today. The prosecution says it was too difficult to get them here on time. They live in a town up by the Somali border, about a day's drive away. Canada's top-ranking embassy officials were here today to complain that they have been blocked from seeing Maktal. And there's also growing pressure on Ethiopia coming directly from Ottawa. If there's no evidence uh, against this gentleman, as none has been presented to me, uh, that uh, we will uh, sort of ramp up our, uh, our efforts. But the wait continues. Today the judge gave the prosecution another month to get its witnesses to court. David McGuffin, CBC News, Addis Ababa.